Hello, my name is Garrett Spitzmuller, and today I'm going to show you how to replace your hard drive on this Toshiba laptop. The only tool you'll need for this is a little bit of patience and a small Phillips head screwdriver. I've just got a little powered one right here. We're going to start by flipping the laptop over, and we're going to locate the battery, and that is this right here. So if you haven't already, slide this lock to the out position, and on the other side, pull this one out, but this one you have to hold, and then using your other hand, you can just slide the battery out. Um, put this in a spot where it won't be damaged. Now we're going to slide up to the top here. We'll locate this panel. Um, there's two screws on this panel that we need to remove. Once you have these two screws loosened, you can go ahead and pry up with your fingers on this panel. There's a little indention right there. Go ahead and pry up. And this whole thing will come off. You can set that aside. Now, this is your hard drive right here. And you can see there's one screw right here. I'm going to go ahead and remove this screw. I'll be back when I have this removed. Just an FYI, the screw will come out. Um, it's the only screw that's black that we'll be working with today, so it won't be too hard to mix up. Once you have that screw removed, you might be able to see on video, or you might not, there's a little plastic lever here. What we want to do is you just want to pull that out, pull that out and up a little bit, your hard drive will come out. Um, this hard drive is dead, so there's no use in keeping it. Now that you've got your hard drive out, we can remove the two mounting screws. Um, these are the only two silver screws that we'll be working with today, and they are the same. So you don't need, you can't mix these up. So now they're heads up, these screws will come out. Now that you have the screws removed, we can go ahead and lift up and remove this mount. Now we can grab our replacement hard drive. We're going to replace this with the solid state drive. Okay, and then see these connectors right here? Those are facing away from our little mount. So just like we removed it, we're going to put these two screws in, these two holes right there, the two silver screws, and then I'll be back once they have that done. Okay, now that you have those two silver screws reinstalled on your new hard drive or solid state drive, um, you can go ahead, get my camera in focus here, slide this in. You can see there's two connectors there that this needs to mat match up with. Um, it's pretty easy, just slide it in. Now depending on the thickness of your drive, this is a pretty thin drive, um, it might slide underneath the connectors. So we what you have to do is kind of have to raise it in there a little bit and then it'll seat in there. Now it's in there. And what we can do is we can take our one um, black screw, we can lift this little tab up, and we, we can reinstall it in this little hole right there. Once you have that screw reinstalled, we can go ahead and take our hard drive um, cover and we can go ahead and just lay that in place. Um, and reinstall these two screws. Remember, these screws did not come out. Once you've got these two screws tightened, you might see that this cover sort of bulges out on both sides. To fix that, those are just two clips. You have to apply a lot of pressure, but there's this side, and there's that side. So you can see it's not bulging out anymore. Now what we can do is we can take our battery you can make sure this one, this number one, is slid all the way out. And this number two, we don't need to uh, pull it out since it'll automatically lock in. Just slide our battery in and lock it in. And now what you're ready to do is open your laptop and go ahead and reinstall Windows. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it really helped you in replacing your dead hard drive for your Toshiba laptop. Thanks.